Hello, hello, Hi. hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> oh my goodness. I always wonder, like, is it actually the day that I think it is? Like, I personally think it's Tuesday today. It's been a long, like, Monday and Tuesday felt like I did my whole work week already. Oh. So Wednesday, it's feeling like a Monday to me. Well, it's Saturday in your world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, how are you all doing? Hope you all are having an amazing, amazing, amazing ending of October. Yes. Where did August, September, and October go? I don't know. They like blended together yeah. and like Halloween's here and then Thanksgiving, Christmas. I'm like, <gasps> slow, down. slow down. This is so good. We had to, had to, had to show you all this 3D cake topper though. It's like, fresh. Pretty much, we have so many amazing projects coming to you. Mm -hmm. Did you all know next week is boot camp? Oh, listen, if you were here yesterday, we were pumping up boot camp. Oh, my gosh. We showed y'all a couple projects yesterday. If you didn't see it, make sure and go back and check it out because they're too cute. They're amazing. Yeah. And boot camp is going to be so big this year. Yes. We, I mean, Alicia. I was like making Christmas crafts. I was like a little elf in there. Yeah. I was just building things and crafting yeah. things, yeah. and they t all turned out so cute. So I'm really excited for you guys to join us for boot camp next week. But Alicia, what are they going to do when we get to share our big news? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is like a, I mean, it's a big deal. This is actually a really, really big deal for us. Yeah. Um, we've never done it to this level. Yes. Black Friday has never been to this level. Y'all know November 1st is, <laughs> is the start of Black Friday right, here. Right, right. Um, there's no spoiler. But our news that we're sharing on technically Halloween. Technically oh, yeah. It Halloween. is technically Halloween. It'll be Halloween. Yeah. We're full into Christmas. Like, Halloween was so last month. It literally <laughs> was. I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, that's just the way it that's is. That's just the way it that's cookie crumbles. That's the way it is. Um, and that's business. So, if you need to see our Halloween stuff, look, 13 last days month. of Halloween. It was so good. <laughs> um, but before we dive into today's project, we do have to address how amazing boot camp is going to be. Yes. It kicks off on Monday. Now, you may say, Tanner, do I have to buy a ticket? Is this free? Is this paid? What is it? Tell you, me. You don't have to buy a ticket. That's the beauty in That's it. That's the beauty of it. If yeah. you're a member, you already have a ticket. You already have access to everything we're going to teach, everything right. we're going to do. You already have that, like, ticket because your membership is your ticket. Yes. If you're here just lurking, come lurk with us on Monday. Yeah, you're going to want to be there. I promise. We may have said we've got a big announcement coming up. This one is like one of the biggest ones, yeah. I would argue. This is going to be so good. It's limited. Mm -hmm. um, there's limited, limited supply. Yes. So that's a hint. And it's something that we've never done, but it's something you all have always wanted. And what I love is that the um, momentum that mm -hmm. we're going to get to talk about on Halloween um, and next week at boot camp is go come all month long. Yeah. Because we have some big announcements inside of some of our signature programs. Right. The membership, as you guys know, Cricut Design Space got updated. We've been learning all about it mm -hmm. to teach you all. So we are going to be teaching a whole new updated um, Cricut curriculum inside our signature program, Makers Come Learn. Yeah. We've been adding things to the sublimation course. We've been adding things to Design Excel. Big stuff. Big, 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 big stuff this Making holiday moves, season. Making people. So, but it all kicks <laughs> off on Monday. So we have a big giveaway every day. Mm -hmm. I can tell you I'm giving away a sublimation printer. Y'all, that alone, I'm going to be there. I'll I'm be there. I'm giving away a Cricut. Oh, yeah. I'm giving away an iPad. Uh-uh. Yeah. That's a surprise to me. That's a cool <laughs> gift. That would be so, fun. So it's going big, and I just want you all to be prepared. Yeah. I want you to be there. I want you to be present. It's going to be so good. I'm super pumped. And if you all are just tuning in, share with those very visiting friends. So good to see Sue, Megan, yes. Doreen, Joyce. Kendra, uh, Lisa, This Erica. is like my favorite because I, oh. I recognize y'all on yeah. our live streams now. And it's it's taken me a while, but like, yeah. I know. I see yes, you guys on Tracy. here commenting. It's oh like our goodness. little family. Yeah. We're all here. I love it. I love it so, too. So it's going to be incredible. And I don't want you all to miss out. So whether you are a member, not a member, everyone just needs to show up and show out because we're going yeah. big. It's going to be super fun. Tracy, too. thank you for the birthday love. You're amazing. <laughs> You're amazing. So we're talking all about the cake toppers today. Yes, 3D cake toppers. Did you make my cake topper? Uh, Lauren made uh, it. Well, Lauren. <laughs> so what I love about cake toppers is a lot of you at home always ask me, 
Tanner, how do I make a cake topper? How do I do this? What, what, how does this all work? Right. Right? The beauty of a cake topper is as simple as it is. Like, this it is literally not, is so easy. This is not anything you need to worry about, anything you need to stress about. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And Alicia's going to teach you exactly how to make not just a basic one. Yeah. A beautiful one. It's, we're using basic tools and like ba cardstock. We're literally using glue and cardstock. And yeah. we're going to make something beautiful out of that. And that's the beauty in crafting for me. Yeah. Just taking something simple and then making this like really cool item. Yeah. So I'm so really excited. You're going to be able to make this with any Makers Gonna Learn cut file. If you're not a mm -hmm. member, you can get registered today. You may want to wait until Monday. It's up to you. Um, it's going to be so good. Yes. And we're super, super excited. So yeah. Should we get started? Like, should we go? In. All right, oh let's goodness. do Alicia, it. This is going to be so much fun. I mean, here's the best part. I think Alicia, I've been trying to get her into paper crafts. Listen, I never paper crafted before I worked here. I mean, I might have done like scrapbooking in like the early 2000s and like the 90s when everybody just cut it out with scissors and yeah. glued it on paper you know I did stuff like that but never with the Cricut and so whenever I was introduced to paper crafting here I was like I'm obsessed I'm late for the train but I'm here and I love it so let's go overhead I'm going to show you what we're going to be making today so this is a little cake topper and it is my baby's birthday theme her first birthday theme is vintage traveling circus and so I thought, how cute would it be to have a little circus tent and put her name and number? And remember, when I'm making this, you all can change out any of these things. You don't even have to do a circus tent. I want you all to be able to take the skills that you learn from this video and apply and use other files that will fit your needs. So you're gonna learn the techniques on how to make it and you're not necessarily gonna have to make this exact project, but you're gonna learn how to attach the cardstock, how to design it in design space and how to cut it and things like that. And that's what we really wanna teach you all today. So let's jump into what you're gonna need to complete everything. Um, it's really not a lot. It's really not. I've got all the color card socks that I wanted to use. So I've got some glitter. This is like, look at this glitter. I like, this is a rose gold glitter card stock from Hobby Lobby. Mm, and it. then we've got this beautiful blush pink. I've got just some standard white card stock. And then I have a mint and a baby blue or like a robin's egg blue. You're going to need, if you're using glitter cardstock, you're going to need some transfer paper. This is a hack for when you're cutting glitter cardstock that actually Tanner taught me. Um, I've got some little foam squares, so you can get these on Amazon. They're just like little tiny foam squares. I have a zig pen. This is like a teeny tiny little glue pen. And actually, I think I grabbed the one, the wrong one, but we can use this one. They have some really precise tips on some of these. Is the other one, you know what pen I'm talking about, Tanner? Is it called oh a Zig, gosh. the so more the precision Zig, one? Yeah, 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 it's Zig. Zig two-way glue pens have such a great product lineup, and you can find them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Yes. They're amazing. Um, and then I've got just a spatula. This is really good for getting your card stuck off the mat without actually bending it. I have a true control knife, basically just an X-Acto knife if I need it. Um, a burnishing tool. I've got two little baby dowels. This is actually one dowel I just cut in half. And then I have a light grip Nikapa mat. This is like an off-brand Cricut mat that we love. We love this brand of mats. I've, heard, I've seen some people say they don't have the best luck with them, but we do. We swear by these. I There's love these There's a lot of off-market ones nowadays, but yeah. Nikapa was, was the first off-market Cricut mat. And I was like, can they do that? Is, is this allowed? I know, because it's a, it's like exactly like a Cricut mat. It's I mean, very similar. They did not patent that. <laughs> it's my favorite. Yeah, I love it, it. they're so good, and they're a little bit more cost efficient. So yes. if you're trying to save a dollar, those are really good, and they should be linked below for you all. And just because I like to really get things sent home, some people have talked to me about, like, Tanner, did you know the Nikapa mats is the same price as a Cricut mat on sale? So oh, okay. it, they're very similar within pennies difference. So what I want to say to that is, I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to have to think about the cells, like they come and go, go right? Like I just right. want something every single day. That you can just um, go and yeah. grab when you so need it. So we do that. And again, supporting Amazon links here is actually a great free way to support everything that we do at the channel. It helps us justify our um, growing craft supply Absolutely. budget. Absolutely. Um, just so that we can always, you know, have the latest and greatest to tell you if it's good or not. Yeah. So yay. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into design space. Also, you're going to need a hot glue gun. I did not um, show you that, but you need a hot glue gun. I've got one right here. I'm using the Lynn Lily. Um, I've already got where I designed this before, but I want to show you all exactly how I got there. Yeah. And this is like my favorite part of crafting is designing. I mean, I just, I really like to get in here and make up my own designs because you can use all of the Makers Gonna Learn files and turn it into exactly what you're wanting. So what I've done, I've already pulled in my files from the Makers Gonna Learn website. We are using Welcome to the Circus and then this circus tent, and they are linked in the description for you all. So you're gonna be able to just pull those right up. I'm gonna add it to my canvas and I'm just gonna pull them to the side. Now, you're gonna need a couple different fonts. We're using Baby Cakes and, um, what is the other one? In, 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 it's not insidious. <laughs> it's not the word. Um, I downloaded it already, but I want in what do you know what I'm trying to say? Let me write something. I'm gonna type this number one and I can be able to find it. I just downloaded it like 2.5 seconds ago, too. So, um, whenever I downloaded my fonts, I have not reloaded my design space. So, whenever you download a font, let's just I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process. Yeah, so let's go to fonts. And this is the Makers Gonna Learn website if you all haven't been here before. So you're gonna be able to see, get a little sneak peek into what it looks like. And I'm just searching for the font right here, Baby Cakes. You can also just follow the link below. This is the script we're gonna be using for the name. And I'm just clicking on it. And you're gonna select this little cloud icon. It's gonna pull into a zip folder, which you can double click. And then you're gonna find the font, double click it again, and then install it. There it is, insistence. Yeah. You can see where I just installed it. So baby cakes, and then you can go back and you can find whatever other font we're gonna be using insistence for our other font, which I already installed. So let's go back to design space. And what I'm gonna do before I refresh design space is save my project. You wanna make sure you're saving your project regularly so you're not losing it. Yeah. So go ahead and do that. And then you can come up here to view and reload. And this is gonna pull any of the downloaded fonts that you just downloaded into your design space. So it should be right here. Let's see, let me zoom out a little bit. So I've got my big one. I'm gonna come up here to my fonts, go to system. System is where your downloaded fonts go to. Yes. So if you try to search it right here on the Cricut panel, it's not gonna show up. So go to system. And I'm going to type in insistence, insist, that works. <laughs> and then there it is. There's our number one. I love that font. Me too. This is one of my favorite fonts. It's very like clean cut, timeless font. Yeah. But I use it a lot. I've used it a lot for Ruby's party, mm -hmm. party decorating. And then I'm going to type out Ruby and we're going to use baby cakes for this. So again, I'm going to my system fonts. And then I can type in baby and it's gonna be right here. And I'm gonna make this bigger and pull it over. So we've got all of our elements here. You can see how this came from this, but we need to keep going to get where we want to be. Yeah. So does anybody have any questions so far? Are we good? We're great. Okay, cool. So there's lots of different ways to get here. Um, I'm just gonna take you guys step by step and show you exactly what I did. Um, let's just start with our circus tent. So you can see over here, we have an offset around our tent. Literally all you're gonna need to do for this step but before I, we do it, we need to put our there's stars. a lot more going on here than yeah. just an offset. We need to put our stars on first. So I'm gonna zoom in. We don't need to be looking at our finished one. I'm just gonna show you guys what you need to be doing from the get go. So you can just add an offset if you're not about the stars, but we want stars. We want some sparkle. So I'm gonna take a basic shape over here and I'm just gonna select that little star and we're gonna pull them up here. Okay. 
and then I'm going to just, you can duplicate it. Also, have y'all played around with the new design space updates? Yes, let us know what you think of the new updates. Do you feel confident with it? Do you need a live stream about it? Let us know. We would love, love, love to help you. I love it. I think that they did a really good job. I really, yeah, it's I'm very I'm, similar to the, uh, the Illustrator. Oh, for Adobe sure, Illustrator. for sure. Okay, I'm just kind of adjusting this to how I would want it. There's no right or wrong place to put this. So that's kind of the design we want. What I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna select everything, duplicate it, and put it to the side. I want you all to trust the process here. Yes, trust the process. Trust the process. <laughs> okay, and then what I'm gonna do is select all of this and we've actually got our new features up right here. So I'm going to use one of those. We're gonna be using the Unite function. This is one of the new functions. It's Ooh. very similar to Weld, way less permanent. You, oh can, you can go out of design space and come back in and undo it. Oh yeah. That's amazing, we love that. That's perfect for people like me who don't wanna commit all the way. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel that, It's <laughs> I, I love that. So. Right here, we have basically united the stars with the tint. And so you're like, okay, well, that looks weird. That's not right. What we need to do now is create an offset from this image. So let me start from the beginning. I'm just going to go ahead and undo this. I just want to show you all exactly what I just did. So we've got our stars. Hold on. We've got our stars right here. I've just placed them. We can move them around, put them wherever you want. I'm going to select the tint as well as the stars, come down to the combine menu and select unite. This makes it a unified image. I love it. Now, the beauty in the unite function is that you can move these stars around. You can move the tint around. All of this can be moved. Like, are you kidding me? I'm obsessed. Yeah. I That's so cannot cool. cannot believe it. Yeah. So, um, you can just get those exactly how you want them. And then what we're going to do from here, since this is one image now, we can make an offset of this image. So I'm going to move no this way. stuff. Yeah. I'm going to move everything out of the way so we can kind of just focus on this. What you're going to do is select that unified image. We're going to come up here to offset. And we can adjust our offset to be as thick or as thin as we want. This is a little bit too thick for me, so I'm going to do it at 0.15. Yeah, I really think if your offset is too thick, um, it just doesn't look as clean. I agree. And professional. I agree. So don't don't get too carried away with your offset. I agree. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and apply it. Well, it still looks crazy. So what we're gonna do now, I wanna take out all of those white gaps in between. I need this to be a solid white behind it. So I'm going to just have the offset selected. So I've just got the offset selected. I'm going to contour all, I'm gonna hide all contours. Boom. Everything's gone. Perfect. Okay, so let's look at the original image so you guys can kind of see where I'm going. You can see here, it doesn't have any of the gaps. This one doesn't have any of the gaps. We're basically done with the tint. The stars are in different spots, but that's okay. That's not, that's not a factor. And so now you can basically just get rid of this because we duplicated it down here. And the reason we did that is because I needed the tint and the stars to be separate colors of cardstock. So it's still going to cut everything out on the right colors. Does that Love make sense? It. Yeah, you want to color coat. And that's a great tip because what happens is that your Cricut, you know, is just going to cut out all these layers. So you kind of want to... More than vinyl, I think with cardstock, you want to have these assigned really well. Oh, I agree. I agree. And I'm going to actually change the color. I'm going to put everything to the colors that we want it. That way, y'all can see what's going on. So for rose gold, I'm going to use this beige color since we're using pink cardstock. And then for our tint, we're going to have it this baby pink. And our offset will be white. So we've got the tint, the tint's done, the stars are a little off. That's just because I haven't adjusted them, but this is where they would go. Looks so good. She's gorgeous. We love it. Does anybody have questions? That was kind of like a lot. In my brain, I was like, yeah, we'll just whip that right up. But there was a lot of little baby steps. So yeah. does anybody have any, no one's even saying anything. I think I really like this because I get to see how, or everyone gets to see 
more so about like how you would use the new design space updates in real life on a yeah. project. So this is super cool. Again, Alicia, even though you offset it, you could go in there, undo and like move some things around and just put a new offset on there. Oh, so it's yeah. definitely not permanent. You don't have to start from scratch, which we really like. Yes. Um, and do you want to talk about your video that you have coming out soon? Yeah. So we actually just filmed a video this last week about every new feature in the design space update. So um, if you all are like, oh, I didn't even realize that Cricut design space updated. They did. Yeah. Um, we're going to show you how to get to those new features because you have to switch over to your beta version. Mm -hmm. um, Lauren did a little quick tutorial yesterday in the live <laughs> if you guys are curious on how to flip over. Uh, but that will be posted, I'm hoping, this week. I'm hoping this week. So you all be able to know exactly like what the heck. Like we're what are all rocket. these tools? Yeah. They're really not hard. There's just a lot at once. And so we kind of break it down and give you real life examples, which is really nice. So. After we get our tent, our tent is mainly ready, but we want to get this cute little scalloped edge. So what I did is I am going to use a basic shape. We've got this little half circle right here. I love using basic shapes in my designs because you can just do, you can manip manipulate them to exactly how you want them. And what I did was I literally just shrunk this down. Uh -huh. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so y'all can see better. Okay, so I shrunk this down. And then you can make it as big or as small. I wouldn't go too small because we're, we are still cutting on cardstock. And then I basically just duplicated it and then rotated it a little bit and did it all the way across. And it's just creating this cute little dainty banner yeah. across the tent this is just a good detail i think not 100 percent necessary but definitely Added really detail cute. we love it yes so i'm just going to keep working my way across and i'll get these lined up a little bit better after i get all the way across because right. we may need to end up like resizing them and stuff mm -hmm. so let's do one more and i'm going to rotate that just a smidge I love it. Okay, so it, like it's a little bit wonky right here, but what we can do is come in here and adjust a little bit, kind of get them lined up to where we want. And then after that, we're going to use that unite function again. I have a feeling I'm going to be using the unite function a lot, probably oh, yeah. the most. I'll probably, like that will be replacing, I don't know when I would want to make something permanent, that I would right. never want to undo. Like, why am I going to weld anymore? Yeah. I'm not. So this will probably be a big <laughs> shift for us. Oh, yeah. Um, but we have a friend asking, like, hey, I have a question. I need help calibrating so I can make a cake topper. Okay. So uh, there is a really easy way. Um, if you're on the area where Alicia's at, uh -huh. will you show her those three lines? Yeah. Right yeah, here. Sure. And then, so if you're needing to calibrate, so we're going to go to these three lines. You're going to come right down to calibration. calibration. And you're gonna go to. Print. Well, that's for print. Oh. If you're if you're doing a print and cut, if you're needing to calibrate your machine, I think you have to have it connected via cord. Um, oh, you have to have it directly connected. Really? I believe. I don't know. Uh, normally, it's popping. Normally, the Cricut calibration pops up there. So it's. I figured. I was assuming that the print and cut calibration would also work with the normal calibration. I know there's like a oh, knife blade yes, calibration and yes. like the other ones too. So you too. print out the paper, right? And you print it, and then you're able to tell it like, hey, did it? You know, do the lines, which. It's yeah. really, it's really self-explanatory. So you can continue on. Sorry, I no. Well, so if you want to try this and see if it works for you, just go to that calibration um, area and just follow all of these steps. Um, I think that's also that will also calibrate just your print and cut and your cutting in general. Right. That's what I good. think. I yes. could be wrong. No, about you're that. correct. You're correct. So hopefully um, that helps and makes it the way you want it. One thing I like to say is like the reason your Cricut needs calibration is whether it's being moved or you, you know, any, any type of um, jolting of it can set it off. So yeah. you can get it back on track really quickly with the calibration. Great question. For sure. Okay. I selected all my little scallops. I changed them to our light. Actually, these are light blue. We're going to do a light blue and I'm going to come back down here to our combine menu. This is new. I'm going to select that and select unite. This is going to give me a unified image. Now, I can see 
right here that those weren't touching all the way. So I'm going to undo my Unite. I'm going to undo it and I'm going to, hold on. Did I attach them? I must, I did ungroup them together. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ungroup them. What did I do? Ungroup. <laughs> Okay, there we go. There you go. And I'm just going to scooch it over just a smidge. And then I'm going to select all of those half circles again. So if you want to select multiple things in the layers panel, you can hold down that shift key and you are going to be able to select as many layers as you want. I'm going to combine and unite again. And then we have this really cute little scalloped bunting. Yes. I'm obsessed. Okay. So the tent, the tent's basically done. Amazing. So you can see this is our original. This is our new one. Let's go ahead and jump in to this guy right here. So all we need from this portion is the ribbon. So what I'm going to do, you can see over here in the layers panel, there's lots of layers. Oh, yeah. What I like to do to get rid of the bulk of it is ungroup everything. And then you can actually just click and drag and delete big portions. So you're not having to individually go and click each individual letter. Right. And then we don't actually need that part of the banner. We just need this part right here. So I'm going to delete those words. And this is literally all we need. I'm going to go ahead and change the color. Let's do this in the rose gold. I was worried about cutting this with the rose gold glitter, but it cut right. great. So yes. I'm going to trust that it's doing it again today. Um, and then what we're going to do now is bring it down here. I'm going to pull it to the front and kind of adjust the size if we need. It's almost the right, it's about the right size. Oh yeah. So just like that. And then we're going to give this an offset. So like we did the tent, we're going to give this an offset. I love doing an offset with 3D cake toppers because it makes everything pop really well. So up here, I'm going to select offset. And like I was saying earlier, we don't want it super thick. So we've got it on 0.15. Honestly, it's good to keep a consistent offset for all of your offsets for one project. I feel oh, like yeah. it looks better that way. So we're going to stick with a 0.15 offset and I'm going to hit apply. Now you've still got all of those little holes in there. Let's go down to our contour function on the bottom right and hide all contours. This is going to make the back of our ribbon a solid piece and I'm going to change it to white. And so now we've got our cute little banner. So cute. And actually I think I'm going to shrink it. Sometimes when you put the offset on it, it makes it a little bit bigger. Yeah. So I'm just going to shrink it down just a little bit. I don't want it to overpower my tent. And then I think that's that's good. It That's looks good. really good. I mean, it's coming together. I, I love it. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is let's pull all of our text up here. We're basically just adding offsets to our text. So I'm going to change the color of my one to this mint color and I'm going to shrink it down. Let me bring it to front. If, if you pull your image over and it's looking like this, you're like, where did my image go? Go up here to the arrange menu and just bring to front. And then you can adjust the sizing of this. Honestly, you could do the one like really big if you wanted. It's totally your oh, discretion. Yeah. Um, but we'll just make it like a little bit bigger than our banner. And then what I'm going to do is add an offset and apply. Just change the color to white so it's cutting out of our white cardstock. Looks amazing. Yes. And then you could be done there, but if you want to personalize it, you can add the name. So I'm going to change this to the light blue and we're going to add an offset and you're going to apply. If y'all learn anything today, it's going to be how to apply an offset. Yes. <laughs> and so that's basically it for all of the design portion of it. Um, the only thing that I want to say here with this baby cakes font, you can actually see that there are lines separating each of the letters you can unite or weld those. This would be a time where you could weld and it's probably not gonna right. matter. Um, but we're just gonna unite them and you can see that the lines that were separating each of the letters disappeared. So what that means is it's not gonna cut each individual letter out. Mm -hmm. And actually me and Lauren, Lauren showed this to me yesterday. Some Now with the new design space features, I don't know if it just 
updated to this, <laughs> but it'll look like it's going to cut on the Design Space canvas, and then when you go to make it, it doesn't actually cut those lines. Like, it actually just cuts around the outside of the words. It's really wanting to get, like, the software is really getting, like, crazy. Like, it's getting very nice. Like, it's... It's more like through. Illustrator, yes. more like... more like a true design software. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to resize this. Let me go ahead and bring all of this to the front. Select it all. It doesn't want me to bring to front for some reason. Let me see here. There's my ruby. Oh, that's my old ruby. <laughs> okay. For some reason, it's not wanting to let me bring all this to the front. Let me see. Maybe I did already. Nope. You can see my offset mm -hmm. is like going behind. Let me just select the offset and see what happens. Where did it go? Come down here. Okay. Ta-da! I'm going to bring that to front, and then I'm going to bring my Ruby to front. For some reason, it doesn't want to let me do that. I don't know why. It's probably just because we're in the beta version. Right. And so it's not functioning 100%. Carol just loves Ruby's name. Yes, oh. we do too. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of people, when we named her that, they were like, oh, okay. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think because it's an older name. Just different. Yeah, our other name was Georgia, so they, it was oh, going to be wow. old. It was going to be old no matter what. Georgia and then Sailor was our third. So... Yeah, those were our three. Ruby okay. really got the best. Ruby? <laughs> Tanner doesn't like my other names. <laughs> oh, look so at this. I mean, look how cute. And that's it. I mean, that's all of the design portion. Which so was a lot. It was a lot, a lot of baby steps, but not hard steps. Yeah. So Amazing. Um, it took me a long time the first time I did it because I was like, how do I want to do this? And actually, I think I had a Ferris wheel and a hot air balloon behind here. And I like took it off because I was like, you got to not be so extra. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, that's our basically our finished product in design space. Um, I already cut out a couple of these things. So I'm going to hide our new version. I'm just going to group this and hide it. And we're going to go ahead and cut everything else out. So let's go to make it on mat and confirm. And I already cut out our white stuff. So when you're cutting cardstock, you don't need to mirror your image, anything like that. You're just gonna keep it just exactly how it is. Now, if you're using eight and a half by 11 paper, you're gonna wanna make sure to pull everything to fit within that eight and a half by 11. So like if I did it this way, I'd wanna make sure either my paper was turned yes. long ways or I was bringing this to fit onto there. Right, right, right. Um, I cut my pink out, so you can see that's how it's gonna cut out. And then I need to cut my stars and my banner. I want those to both be out of the rose gold, so what I'm gonna do is move this banner onto this peach colored mat. So you can click these three little dots, you can move object, and then select which mat that you want to put it onto, which I think is really cool. That is super cool. Yeah. When you pull it in, now they'll be like all on top of each other. Just pull it down. Just pull it down right there. And then we've got this mat, which has nothing on it now. We don't, it won't even cut that. I've got my mint and then my blue. So let's go ahead to continue. And we're going to be using the Maker 3 today. Lordy day. Hold on a second. I didn't change my machine on here. Maker 3. Make it. Skip over. Repeat. <laughs> Repeat all the steps that we just did. It's okay. Confirm. I'm going to move that down a little bit. And then we're going to continue. Okay. Does anyone have questions so far? No. We are all focused and just listening in. Yes. Okay. Carol wanted to remind you that you could change your paper size, which I thought was a good point. If you're, if you know you only have eight and a half by eleven yeah. paper, on the mat area on the left hand side, you can click edit and just select the paper size you have, even though you're using a twelve by twelve mat. So that, right. that's a good one, Carol. Honestly, I don't do that a lot, but I wish I did more. Yeah, because it would yeah. automate a lot of that for me. So that's a great tip. Yeah, that is a good tip. Um, another good tip, Courtney taught me this, um, cardstock for intricate cuts. Yes. So I didn't even know this was a thing, um, but I use it all the time now, especially cutting cardstock. Um, this is going to give you a, it's going to do more passes 
with less pressure, I yep. think. Um, and it's that, more delicate. Right. So it's not so intense when you put heavy cardstock. It's not like jamming into your paper. Um, I really, really like this cut feature. So cardstock for intricate cuts. We're going to keep it on default pressure. Um, and actually, for the glitter, we're going to do a different setting. So I'm going to bump myself down to the mint one. And let's do the cardstock on these two because I want to show you all a different cut setting for the glitter cardstock. So cardstock for intricate cuts. This is for if you're using a basic plain cardstock, so not glittered. Love it. Default settings. I've got my um, light grit mat. This is a new light grit mat, so Ooh. it is sticky. Um, <laughs> I'm not used. <laughs> I'm not used to that because we use our mats so much. Like we really put them to use. So I'm going to line this up along the top and left edge. You can use your burnishing tool. I love that. And then we're going to send it through our Cricut. Woohoo! Um, are we sending out a supply list and schedule we for We have, camp? I've linked it for everyone. So if you want to see a sneaky peek at the supply list, if you want to see a sneak peek at the projects, the link I've just dropped right here um, is going to be your number one resource to get all the details about boot camp. And y'all, it's going to be so much fun. Christmas, Christmas galore. It's going to yes. be awesome. And y'all can see them. If you go on our channel, you can see like yeah, the Yeah, click thumbnails. the remind me button on the channel too for each video. Yeah. Um, but they're at 12 noon Eastern, which is 9 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Mountain, um, 11 a.m. Central, and noon Eastern. So, so exciting. That will be awesome. Um, what I also want to let you all know is... I'm curious to know how many of you are not members. If you've been mm. following the channel and you're not a Makers Gonna Learn member yet, let me know. I would love to also welcome you if you're new. So whichever yeah. way, um, I would love, love, love to say hello to you today um, and just share everything. We are pumped up for boot camp. Oh yeah, boot camp again. Special news happening Monday. Um, we have our amazing project and we have an amazing giveaway. So it's a big deal. It's a big Monday. Big Monday. <laughs> We're coming in hot, um, so you do not want to miss being there live. Um, so it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. I hope I'm on that live. If I'm not, I'm going to be like cheering from the outside. <laughs> I'm going yeah. like, to poke my head in or something. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Um, our entire team has worked very hard for this, um, and it's going to be it's going to be awesome. So, it's going to be amazing. Okay, amazing. I cut my one and my scalloped. I'm just gonna pull this off. Honestly, if you didn't wanna bend your paper, like if you have a super sticky mat, you can just cut this out with your true control knife so mm -hmm. you don't bend all that paper. A lot of people trim their paper before they cut it, but I just use the whole sheet. I'm yeah, just wild like that. Cray, cray. Um, and so I'm gonna pull this off. And the intricate cut is so yummy. Mm. Like look how clean that was. I love it. Now, this little spatula tool, if y'all don't have one of these and you're a paper, if you're a paper crafter, I guarantee you have one of these. Yeah. Um, if you're paper crafting and you don't have one, it's time. <laughs> um, so what you're going to do is just kind of get right up under it and be super easy because this is very delicate. I am not good at being finessing. I'm not <laughs> good at that. Oh, but we did it. We made it. <laughs> so there's our little scalloped edge. And then I'm going to try to get this one off without bending it. Okay, got our one off and you can see I've already got my other pieces cut and ready to go, but we need to cut out the ruby name out of the light blue. So I'm just going to sit all my pieces over here and peel this off. I love that. Yes, I love these colors. They're my fave. Okay, let me grab my light blue. And then this is a sheet. I think I probably already used some of this. I'm just going to line it up here. And then, this is so sticky, I really don't even need to burnish it. No. It's very sticky. Very, very sticky. And then, we're going to run this through the Cricut. Deborah, you're not a member yet. Oh, my gosh, Deborah. Oh, Deb. You, we would love to have you in our community. We'd love, yes. love, love to give you a big warm welcome. So, um, definitely, I will say, stay tuned until Monday. Because yeah. you are definitely going to want to be here Monday. Um, we have something super, super special. <gasps> Aaron just started watching you guys yesterday from what? Australia. Oh Aaron my gosh, you're Deborah. really new here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Tara <laughs> Bell. This is Alicia. Hi. And we love to teach people how to craft. So we love yeah. getting to hang out. Um, we primarily, I, I would, I'm going to give ourselves the credit of saying we are the number one cricket channel for like intimate support. It. 
Oh, in tech support. <laughs> I, I said intimate support. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, a one-on-one. Yeah. I like, think so, too. I like, think so, too. There's so many amazing cricket channels out there. Like, I'm oh, not going to yeah. say I'm the best, um, even though I think so. Um, <laughs> but you get <laughs> to decide. So it's so nice to meet you, though. It is. Um, Aw, Doreen. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Don't be oh, afraid. Oh, Doreen. I didn't tell you this. So, my bestie girl, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. She has had a cricket for <gasps> six years. Oh, my gosh. Used it one time. No. She came to my house on Sunday, and I taught her how to use it. And Yay. she's been making onesie. She's been making Already? babies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I taught her. So, we made three at my house. Yeah. And then she went home and was sending me pictures. She's like, I made, I made more onesies. Well, Doreen, um, my friend, you are already a member. You became a member um, this year. So congratulations. Yeah. I have a brand new curriculum coming out very soon. Like, as fast as we can edit the training, we are updating that, my friend, so that you can walk through this with me. Like, I'm going to walk with you from the thought of taking out of the box to looking at design space, like we're gonna do it all together mm -hmm. um, in a 30 day format curriculum. So a video a day, you could do that video a day. Heck, you could blow through it in two weeks, a week, um, or you could do two months, whatever you want. So I really wanna encourage you to stay tuned. You'll know when it launches, so it'll be awesome. Yeah. And it's so good. Catalina, I need to sign up, been putting it off. Catalina, when I tell you my heart, my soul, my everything is in this program. Like this, <laughs> this program has been my baby since 2017, um, and it's one of my, um, it's one of the best values you will find in this industry yeah. because I have been in this industry since 2010. I have looked at everyone's products. If you want cut files, education, community support, fonts, um, our resource library, the best value because who don't like a good deal? If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, we would love to. We'd love to. Help you and serve yes. you like that's what we're all about <gasps> and kirsten hill is one of my dear sweet friends oh. and uh, members i love her and she's so sweet she's awesome i so, love it yeah you guys are incredible okay i'll link the supply list for boot camp one more time too okay awesome yeah that's gonna be great so you guys can have everything ready and we're gonna expect that you're gonna be there okay we'll be looking for you um so i'm gonna go ahead i just want to have this up here so you guys can like kind of see how we build this um, what I like to do whenever I'm building a cake topper is kind of work in reverse, if that makes sense. So like, I want to piece together all my offsets first, like all my backgrounds. I'm going to attach those and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to move this. Yeah. I'm going to move this out of the way. So we have a great question. We actually have a few okay. questions. Um, we have one about does my Cricut come with a paper cutting mat? And the answer is, if you got the Cricut Maker 3, which you commented, mm -hmm. you actually don't. They don't send a mat anymore. What? Um, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They, they don't. True. They don't. Um, they are trying to sell us all on uh, matless cutting because technically they think you can only matless cut with their matless cutting product. Right. Now, I have a video that's like <laughs> Cricut Joy First Impressions. And I explain a lot about the difference of smart material is what Cricut calls it based on comparing it to regular material. Please, please, please buy a regular mat like we're using on Amazon, Cricut, whatever, and use it with the more affordable material. It'll save you so much money. Oh, yeah. It'll be awesome. And oh then if you are considering a machine, this holiday season is the best time to buy one. This is when all the deals come out. Um, it'll be so, so good. So mm -hmm. we're, we're just super excited to have you guys. Yay. Yay. Okay. So I did not cut my glitter card stock. I just skipped right over it. So <gasps> let's do that. Yes. How are we going to do it? Okay. This is a little tricky trick. So this is just, um, probably standard grip, standard tack transfer paper. Um, what I'm going to do, I have my sticky light grip mat here. I am going to flip this over. So the non sticky side. I'm going to attach to my mat. So we're just And that way we're protecting the mat from you don't the glitter. Have to clean it. Yep. So good. If you just stuck your glitter on here, oh child, you'll ruin your mat. It'll be so bad. So what actually I think I'm gonna trim this up because we are only using like this much of our rose gold. Right. So I'm actually just gonna cut out a portion of this so we're not risking getting glitter all over our mat. Now, Alicia, I have a very important question. Okay. Where did you get your flannel from? 
American Eagle. American Eagle. American Eagle. They cool. had them on sale the other day. I had to get them. It. I got two. I love. <gasps> I love a flannel, you guys. Two. Okay. Um, also, we don't need all of this transfer paper, and I don't want to waste a bunch of it. So let's trim it. Let's just trim it all the way down because I can use the bottom half of this later. Woohoo! So I'm just going to peel this off. Y'all, this light grip mat is sticky. It is new. Okay, I'm going to sit that to the side. And then what we're going to do, so we've got our transfer tape on here face down. Uh -huh. I'm going to peel this backing off. Okay, throw that away. We don't need it. This is right. sticky. Okay, it's virtually like another layer of sticky on the mat. Yeah. Us. I'm going to put the glitter down. Glitter down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to line it up as best as I can. And then we're going to burnish that down really well. Glitter does not like to stick. It doesn't like to glue. It doesn't like to stay because it's just like a thousand little pieces. Okay. Does that make sense to y'all? Do you see if I didn't put that down that there would be glitter all over our mat because it's sticky? You can cut with the glitter up. You're going to get a better cut if you don't do that. So now we're going to put this in our Cricut. And I'm going to show you all what cut settings to use. Say a prayer that it doesn't move. It feels secure, but you just don't ever know. Yeah. Okay. So I am in design space. I've just typed in glitter. And then there's so many different options. So we've got glitter cardstock right here. I'm going to select done. And I'm going to do more pressure this time because it makes me nervous. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do more pressure and then we will hit go. I think it's going to stay. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll find out. It should, but you just never know. And I just want to say Megan Irk, who I absolutely adore and love. Yes, um, we She do. just recently got her Cricut Joy. She's had a Cricut Joy, but she finally used it. Okay. And she was not impressed. Because oh. she was using the smart material. And I think oh. this is part of the conversation that I think we all need to have around the Cricut Joy. Do I have a problem with a small cutting machine? No. I support a small cutting machine, okay? I support it. I'm here for it. I love it. As Megan is saying, she doesn't blame the Joy. But what we do have a problem with is the specifics when it comes to um anything like the smart material if you all have heard us talk about smart material here mm. in the past you might feel like it's a little negative and i don't want you to feel that we are just super negative right um we're definitely not we're not positive but smart polys. material positive polys <laughs> um smart material material is more expensive more is. waste mm -hmm. and um less ease of use right and it really confuses me because i have worked personally with the Cricut team mm -hmm. and they like had never done anything like that in the past. So I, I understand the need to have this matless cutting, but I would never sacrifice mm -hmm. all the things they did to create this lawn. It makes me question like the trust I have in them. So, well, and you know, I think so many other people have been doing matless cutting forever. And I've heard you even talk about this before. Like, I can do matless cutting with a roll of, I've done a matless cutting in this machine yeah. with a regular vinyl. Roll of vinyl, with yeah. With a regular roll. Right. You just have to, it has to be a little longer. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. Sorry. Okay. So what's happening over here? Okay, I just so went on my tangent of the day. It, <laughs> so the cardstock moved. So I'm just taking some masking tape. I'm just going to tape it down because... It's not wanting to stick to that transfer paper. Right. So I'm thinking that I needed a stronger tack of transfer. Mm. Um, I didn't want it to be too much, though, because we're dealing with cardstock. So you have and to be... And glitter. And glitter. And you have to be careful. So I basically just rotated it around because it started cutting right here. And I'm just going to add this masking tape. And then also, I don't know if this was because it moved, but it's bunching up. And I think it's because I have more pressure. I'm going to put it back to default pressure. And if I need to do two passes, I will. I think whenever I do more pressure on the cardstock, it's causing it to like bunch my yeah. paper up and we don't want that. So I'd rather do more passes and it look better than it to look all jumbled. So I've got it taped down. I'm just going to send it back in and we'll see what happens next. Okay. I, y'all, I did not know that Joy had smart material. 
So that's, they actually released Smart Material for the first time with the Cricket Joy. So oh, okay. with the day the Cricket Joy came out, it was what Smart Material, how does Smart Material work? So yeah. I went and bought all the Smart Material, the Cricket Joy. Because everyone's like hyped about, hyped about it, about I'm it. sure. Yeah. So I had the Joy and I did the test and the Joy is actually really cool. But again, the Smart Material kind of ruined it mm -hmm. because you get an extra like what? quarter an inch yeah or so when you use smart material in a joy and it's kind of needed but yeah it's it's just really 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 insane yeah that's crazy wow. and um someone asked if you could use painters tape yes i use painters tape it's like one of my number one craft tools is painters tape yeah, i use it for awesome. everything i use it every day <laughs> it's so good lorraine said yes i just cut some vinyl the other day without the mat on my maker it was so awesome i've not done any training on that in literally a year so if you all are like, Tanner, what are you talking about? Can I cut vinyl without a mat? Like, does anyone know that that's possible? Like, I didn't mm. even know how to use a mat when I started. I didn't even know that you used the mat to cut a Okay, a Alicia, that's true. That's it true. is, I, but, because I was so used to a different die cutting machine. Yeah. I use a different die cutting machine, yeah. which I love the mats. I think the mats are great. No, me too. Me too. I mean, there's very rare that I'm cutting bigger than 12 inches mm -hmm, sometimes mm -hmm. i am but not right. all the time right know? right right no i'm here i understand okay this is working it's working right now so that little ribbon has lots of ridges in it i don't know if you all are able to tell um but i was a little bit worried cutting it on the glitter cardstock yeah. with the ridges but it's doing fine doing it's great it's doing great okay sherry says how do you do it do you all want a video on it is this something i have yeah <laughs> how many videos do you do I have like all my... together? No, oh, just okay. our new. I have a whole list, guys. Before our free year member summit, I literally sat here and planned 20 videos. <laughs> so I've got another one. Can I cut vinyl without a mat? What? That should have been what? a that should have been a mat hack that you don't even need a mat to cut vinyl. I know. And we had a bunch of little hacks on that too. The yeah, if you haven't seen all of our videos about um the mat hacks, I have a lot of videos coming out this holiday season. Yeah. You need to watch every single one of them. They're so good. We I'm really hyped about the content we're putting out. Like it's Me really too. good. Like, I'm excited. Yeah, it's it's crazy cool. We have a new YouTube consultant working with us. Oh, um, that's been really that's been, it's been fun, fun for me. Yeah. I really enjoy that actually. It's really cool. Someone looking at the data, telling us things you don't know. I've made a new like friend. Like our logistics. Yeah, I've made a new friend that owns a craft company and his favorite thing he tells me all the time is you don't know what you don't know. Yep. And I'm trying to embrace that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the facts right okay, there. Okay, matless cutting. I'm, I've added it to the list. It's added. Okay, you guys know what I didn't do? Anybody want to take a guess? What did I not do here? What mistake did I make? I didn't... Mm, you want to guess? Oh. I didn't mirror my image. Oh, but no. I'm hoping that this image Doesn't is matter. symmetrical. Yeah. Right, so it may not matter. So I'm going to pull it out. And we will see what happens here. Cheryl, welcome, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. Watch your YouTubes all the time. Thank you for all the info. You're Aww. amazing, my friend. Yay. Um, we love it. So okay. let's talk about this. Alicia had flipped the material to do the really fun hack with the transfer tape, right? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? When you when you flip it down, you had to mirror it. You need it. to mirror so, it, right. Yeah, everyone's commenting that. Y'all are with us. So Y'all are on it. But yes. listen, this, the image is symmetrical, so we may be able to get away with it. I think it is. It looks like it on the design space, um, so I'm hoping that it is. And I'm just taking this little true control knife. There's a couple of places. Whenever you cut glitter cardstock, sometimes it doesn't want to cut all the way through just because the uh, depth is inconsistent. So I am just cutting anywhere. Did anyone cut? Did anyone cut? <laughs> did anyone watch my Target haul? Y'all, it's Target. Target. We love it. We yes. love it, love it, love it. I um, love those haul videos. It's those, so fun. Those are my faves. So if you all want to see a Hot Mess Express live stream, I highly, highly, highly recommend <laughs> what I'm about to link you. Um, <laughs> cut Matless Cutting. This is me. Matless cutting. You can skim through this video. It's a very long video. I give away a Cricut machine because we're extra here. Um, <laughs> but I actually made a I made a project using matless cutting, and I think I had some really good examples between um, the smart material and a regular um, vinyl. 
Oh, did I use smart material in the video? I didn't even know you, we had one on that. I'm going to have to watch that now. I Look, don't think I used smart. It's symmetrical. No Praise way. be. Yes, it's symmetrical. Okay, so you can see it lines up perfectly. Yay. Perfect. Love that. All right, let's attach everything. Let's do it. Love so it. this is this one. I'm going to be using the reverse tweezers. If y'all don't have these, they're great for paper crafting. You basically squeeze it and then release it to pick up. So I got hooked on your channel after you did Dollar Tree haul. I was hooked at that point. Aww. What was it, Dollar Tree haul? Yeah, we before finding the Dollar you, Tree. I was so intimidated in vinyl cutting. I've been using old Cricut machines for paper crafting business, and after watching all your videos, I bought a Cricut maker. Yay! Yay! That's exciting. Oh, Carrie, I missed you too, Carrie. Oh Aww. my gosh. It's so good to see you guys. Okay, so I've got my Zig pen. I just have like a scrap sheet of paper, and I kind of tapped it so to get it going. Get it going. Got my reverse tweezers here. I feel like I'm doing surgery. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick this up and apply this to the back of my ruby. Can you all see what I'm doing here? I'm yeah. just tapping, just tapping a little glue on there. This is so good for precision gluing. Yes. You don't wanna just go in here with like super glue and stuff. No. It's gonna get really messy really fast. You need to really be using things like the zig pin or precision gluers. Gluers. <laughs> gluers. For <laughs> Precision glue is yeah. what you need to be using. And then you're just going to line this up as best as you can. These little tweezers are amazing for this. And then my ruby needs to be glued down as well, or my R needs to be glued down yes. as well. Just gonna flip it over. Paper crafting is so much fun, guys. Like if you are here and you're like, oh my gosh, like, this looks really easy. It truly is. It is, and it's so therapeutic. I, I really have gotten into paper crafting. Uh, Christine says, I was hooked after watching your wedding video. I thought she said we weeding, and I, then I'll look at it again, and it says wedding. Oh, you're, um, yours and Courtney's Christine, wedding video? how did you find, so this is my question, how did you find the wedding video before? That video has a lot the, of views, Tanner. It does have a lot of views. Um, I think it, it's it's a beautiful, I mean, I am partial to it, but. <laughs> it was your wedding. It was my wedding. Um, <laughs> I also watched a lot. It pops up whenever you search Maker's Gonna Learn. No, like, uh. yeah, it does. It's one of, the, I think because, it, I don't know, I guess it's a clickable video. <laughs> People watch the whole thing, that's for I, sure. Yeah, I <laughs> guess so. literally, if I search Maker's Gonna Learn, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth video. Today. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's so funny, I love that. I love it too. Okay, so I'm just going in and I am attaching all of the offsets to everything. So I'm gonna attach this one to its offset. I'm just wilding, just using my hands, not yeah. using my tweezers. Just do whatever you're comfortable the with. The wedding video has 45,000 views. Wow. A little cray cray. That's, little cray cray. That is crazy. Um, and the comments on it, 700 comments. Wow. <laughs> It's my favorite. I love watching wedding videos. When I was getting married, I watched so many wedding videos. Holy moly. People are commenting on it from like a day ago. Oh. This is so funny to me. Oh my gosh. Someone it's, said it's a revival. This, someone, <laughs> someone said this pops up in my feed from time to time. I still watch it. My it pops up on my personal feed. I'm not kidding you. Oh, my entire life is on, on the internet, the internet. And, I, and I'm here for it and it makes me like feel even more comfortable to share other life moments because there was times that I was like should I live stream the wedding and then I was like like before we left to go physically to the wedding I was like okay we're not gonna live stream it like this is just for us it's a more intimate moment. yeah and then Alicia we get there and I go over to my dear friend Christian he's so cool um and I'm like and I'd already asked him to live stream it so he had everything ready yeah. I was like okay we're doing it and we live streamed on Facebook. And for weeks after the wedding, random people in town would stop me and Courtney and say, I watched your wedding video. It was awesome. Uh -uh. Yeah, just the live stream part. And then a few months later, we released the wedding video. And it was so much fun. So did you all just live stream the ceremony? We live streamed just the ceremony. But unfortunately, our ceremony was kind of long, Alicia. We had three worship songs. Our Preacher had like a, a short 15, 20 minute sermon. Okay. Um, so it was like an hour. I plus. love that. Yeah. It, what's funny is we didn't tell. So this is, I shouldn't be talking about this. Um, we didn't <laughs> tell anyone about that part of it. Like any about of About the friend, worship ceremony? No. Or the worship no, they, didn't, they didn't know any of it. They thought it was going to be like 15 in and out. 
Yeah. I mean, we were we were there to do business with the Lord. It was. <laughs> I well, that's what well that's what marriage is about. So. Yeah. So I love it was that. it was really fun. It was that's really so fun. cool. Yeah. I love it. It's love awesome. It. Um, but look at y'all. Okay, I am just taking this little. Am I out of the thing? I'm just taking this little pin and lining all of this. Now you could use with these thicker areas. You could use an ATG gun. Yeah. It's borderline too thin. Okay, so for the pink that you're doing right now, I would totally use an ATG gun, like totally fine. Yeah. But your glitter that you cut out. Yeah. Um. It would of, you know, it would you'd have to use the zig. It would not. Yeah, it would not yeah. be it. Okay, so just gonna flip that over. These reverse tweezers are a godsend. Oh they're, my gosh, bomb! They're bomb. Okay, I'm just gonna put that on there, and I'm gonna have to move it around a little bit. Okay, what's really funny is I made this, and then we're not even having a cake topper on Ruby's cake. What? Because <laughs> the, the cake's so extra? The cake is very extra. It's like <laughs> almost like an 80s wedding cake. Yeah, you know, like the really frilly, like, I'll have to show you. It sounds tacky, yeah. but it's really pretty. They're like old school looking because it's vintage, you know? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to put glue on the back of these stars. So, like I said, I'm working my way from the back to the front. And actually, I want to show you guys something that I was about to mess up on. So, these stars, can y'all tell... The stars are 3D. So you don't want to glue anything that's going to be three-dimensional. You're going to want to use the foam squares. Yes. So what I'm going to do is let this dry for a moment. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let that dry, and we will glue our little scalloped edge on because I hadn't glued that on yet. I'm going to use the zig pin still. Did you link the zig pin in your supply list? I should have. Foam squares, hot. No, you linked hot glue. Mm. I didn't. I didn't link the zig pin. No. Did I link a different pin? You linked hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I'll get y'all yeah, link. It's okay. It. We'll find it. Um. Oh my gosh. So w you specialize in wedding videography. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you all knew this, but did you know the guy that films my YouTube videos, like my going to Dollar Tree and things like that? Well, first of all, your he's fancy like, ones. One, my fancy videos that are, aren't in studio. <laughs> Um, he's one of my dearest friends, but he also, his company, filmed our wedding. Yeah. So, oh, I didn't know that they did your wedding. The, well, you know, they kind of specialize in I know. Wedding. I didn't know that they did y'all's wedding. Of course. Oh my gosh, I, I love it. I picked my wedding date. I called Dylan and I said, cancel whoever you have that day. Like, you have to be there. Y'all, he is the, one, <laughs> the best wedding, wedding videographer that I know. And I since mean, we're like, just here reminiscing and just chatting ourselves, I want to just give him a shout out. He sent me the absolute nicest birthday text message I have ever received. He seems so nice. Just he, like genuinely he, nice. He used to not be that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we all grow and change. <laughs> so I, I tell him a lot and I, you know, he is one person that I truly look at and he, he is so genuinely caring and nice. Like he does a lot. Like, yeah. I, it, I'm so grateful for our friendship, but he sent me one of the sweetest text messages on my birthday. I was like, where Aww. did I deserve a friend like that? Um, I love so it. anyway. That's good. It's hard yeah, to, it, those are hard to come by. Yeah. They really are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I put, I put little foam squares on my banner and attached it to my tent. And so that gives, that's our first little 3D element here. Ooh. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple foam squares on the back of my one. You could, I'm just doing like one or two, like you don't need to get crazy, but I do want y'all to be aware of where it's gonna be sticking onto your piece. So like, I don't wanna put a three, I don't wanna put a foam square up here and all the way down here when I know it's gonna be sticking here in the middle. I want to put my foam squares on in the middle of my one. That way it actually has something to attach to that's right beneath it rather than we don't want to be skipping layers and attaching to the wrong layers. So I'm just going to attach right here. Okay. And then we are going to attach our ruby. Now this is a little bit more dainty. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to really think, like, where could I put a foam square? I'm thinking just right here in the middle. It's just going to kind of sit right on top of that one. Just gonna put this I love here. foam squares. And if you're going to get into paper crafting, foam squares and ATG gun has to be there. Okay, it's my on friends? the top of the it list. It has to be there. It has to be. 
Okay, I'm just gonna push that down just a little bit. And then we can add the foam squares to the back of our little stars. And yes. sometimes your pieces may be too small for the foam square and you mm -hmm. can kind of trim them if you need to. These are barely, barely, like they're, they're good. I don't need to trim it, but they were close. Yeah. I'm gonna use my tweezers to attach these and then all we have to do after this is attach our little dowel rod to the back and that's it. I love that. That's it. So does anybody have questions about it? I yes. feel like this part is much easier than the, the design portion part. Um, the design the design space part was a little bit more detailed. Right. Okay, and then this one I'm just lining up with our offset right here. And then we've got our last guy. And that glue is almost dry. That The glue on the zig pin dries really quickly. It's really good. Yeah. And the ATG gun is linked down below. And I just put a poll in the Facebook group. I would love you guys to head over there if you're a member. Um, I actually polled to see if you guys prefer a noon Eastern live stream time or a 1.30 p.m. live stream time. Okay. Because I'm torn, Alicia. <laughs> I really like the 1.30 p.m. Eastern because I feel like you get the vast majority of your workday done. Yeah. And then you end out with an amazing show. And then for me, two days a week, I have to go pick up my kiddos right. um, and whatnot. So anyway, let me know. Answer the poll. Answer the poll in the Answer Facebook the poll in the group. In the group. I've been using the group a lot lately. I saw that. Yeah, I, saw I love it. having the conversation in the group. Me too. I like to interact. Okay, I just attached these dowel rods back here. And then there you go. This is the one today. This was the one the other day. And that's Yay. it. Look all at right. all that. Oh we went a little gosh. bit over, but we're, we're good. But, I mean, this was so much fun. Yeah. Look at it. Oh. So cute. But here's the thing. Like, this is the cake topper. That's it. You could get a white cake and just stick this on, and it would be so cute. A lot of us get overwhelmed thinking about cake toppers. I know. I know. Like, I don't. I, did you see? Like, it's just a paper project. Yeah. And hot glued some skews. Right. Like, like glue and paper, y'all. That's and basic. If you're wanting to go above and beyond, we already learned that this shape is, well, for this one, I guess if we flipped it, you could cut it. Oh, no, you would just cut a second one. I would cut a second. If you're wanting to, like, if you're worried about the back, mm -hmm. you can make two so you can see And you can sandwich side. it in between it. Yeah, you could right. just cover up any of this with a white, just another white offset on the back. Yeah. Super easy. So That's you can it. literally make this. I love it, Alicia. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're going to have to use that somewhere for Ruby. I know. I'll put it in something. She will. Oh, my gosh. Have you told everyone about your big first birthday? No. I try to be discreet about it because I think people will think I'm ridiculous. So Dude, I have to tell you, I'm really just telling it all today. <laughs> Me and Courtney think that the party should be longer. My party? Your Ruby's party. How long do you want it to be? How long is it? Only like an Two? hour? Two? Two, Two hours? hours? This is like, I feel like as much work as you're putting into it, like I just am gonna make myself at home. Y'all can hang out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, put, I'll be on the cleanup crew. Okay, but... <laughs> okay. Y'all hang out as long as you want. You can come early. We'll have a pre-party. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. We're like, Alicia's worked on this a year and it's gonna be a two hour party. <laughs> I know, it's like a wedding. I mean, it really is. Listen, I oh love decorating gosh. and stuff like that. So I put a lot of Making things is my love language, so I love my baby a lot. I mean, yeah. that's just all it is. All it is. So, I love it. Y'all have to, if you're in the Facebook group, I'll post pictures yes, after the party. That'll we're going to love fun. it. I can't wait. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We will see you at boot camp. Or are we going to be back tomorrow? We're going to be back tomorrow. Are we? No. no I, I don't not. remember. I don't think we are tomorrow. I don't think so. But if you guys need us, reach out. Hi at makersgonnalearn.com. We will see you at boot camp on Monday at 12 p.m. noon Eastern. 9 a.m. Pacific time. Don't miss it. Do not miss out. You can't. Can't, you miss, can't it. miss it. It's going to be big. So <laughs> we'll email you if you're on our email list. We'll give you plenty of time to know mm -hmm. what to prepare for, what's going on. It's going to be awesome. So yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you, my friends. I hope you make a cake topper real soon. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Love Thanks it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.